an extrasensory art installation in progress. The dark humor of visual artist Eric Dubnica and Lost Children live from the studio. That is your playlist. Funding for the playlist is provided by the citizens of Minnesota through the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund. They found their way to the playlist, these lost children. The band plays a unique brand of bluesy rock and hails from Hoyt Lakes. Please welcome lost children to the playlist.
glad the lost children found their way here. And we'll hear more music and explore the creative world of Kathy McTavish after this. This is a big deal for us to be able to have these people that have done beautiful work and shown it in other places to come here. And, you know, this is, this is kind of a nice thing. The show is Peter Pestalozzi and Jean Borquin. She does watercolors, beautiful watercolors, as you can see. And he does this wonderful furniture. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful pieces of furniture and in many different varieties of wood. I am uh, Christine uh, Peterson and we are at the Lyric Center for the Arts, the first stage gallery. This is our visual arts committee and we are hanging the show. Our big challenge is, is to take the pieces of art and display them as beautifully as possible so that people want to look at them and uh, I, I think people will just be, be very excited when they see this. The show will be up for the entire month of November and we are at the Lyric Center for the Arts, the first stage gallery. An opening reception for the Peter Pestalozzi Jean Berquin show at the Lyric is scheduled for Saturday, November 10th at 2 o'clock. Now, an art experience designed to engage all of your senses in the story. That's the goal of transmedia artist Kathy McTavish. And she's here in the studio to give us a little advanced teaser of her latest project, Holy Fool. Welcome, Kathy. Thank you, Karen. It's nice to be here. Nice to see you. So some people around town might be familiar with your playing a cello and doing some different things around town in different venues. Tell me what's going on with this. What's different about this? Well, I started working with some multimedia stuff maybe about two years ago. And I'd been doing some composing for filmmakers, and I just really learned a lot from them. And I like working in the visual sphere because what I'm playing, I'm an improv cellist, and so I often have my eyes shut and I see sort of abstract images, and so I kind of want to start working in the visual sphere, sphere. And I started doing some still motion film. Just having that, that balance between some different, the, the visual piece and how you tell a story in one way and the story that you can tell with music is fantastic. Yeah, I think I've learned a lot from, from exploring in that direction. I'm still learning, but um, yeah, I, I've liked those new tools. And it's a journey. So we do have a clip from one of your films, and you want to set this up at all? We'll give well, us a little hint of what you're going It's for. a little bit of a snippet of something I showed at the cinema uh, a couple months ago called Graffiti Angel. Okay, all right, let's take a look. So I don't know what my eyes should lock on when I see that. It is a complete immersion. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. And it's, it's new for me. It's um, part of some work I've been doing to do co-generated film. And I was interested, I love the beat poets. And so I was interested in trying to develop some work that would just create film on the fly. So that would kind of interlace story and overlap story and images and sound. So that's sort of new for me. But I've started doing that this year. So in this event that's coming up, Holy Fool, who else is working? You, you have a, assembled a whole team I'm to really kind of lucky. bring I'm really that lucky. together. I have, some, I have some visual artists. I have Cecilia Ramon, who's an Argentinian artist who lives in Duluth now. And she's both contributing some work with another artist, Carla Stetson. 
so they have some 2D work and also she'll have some sculptural work in the space and also she's contributed some Spanish spoken word so there'll be some sound installation some video installation some light installation on November 9th and um, Kathy uh, Podetswa is doing the light installation and Molly Tillotson is has some sculptural work in the space and I'm uh, working with Sheila Paca the poet Sheila Paca to do both some sound installation but also live performance that night and you'll be performing live and I'll too. be performing so don't live. don't don't forget yeah. that that's pretty <laughs> exciting <laughs> thank so you I'm excited I love playing at Sacred Heart and working with Eric Swanson the sound person there the everything person there is is always a great experience so um, Holy Fool tell me a little bit about the the title itself and kind of what you're you're um, trying to provoke in us well I've always been interested in the fool archetype and um, that that shows up in a lot of different cultures and for me the the word holy I think first appeared to me like when when I was 17 I found this this book I have a little show and tell this book Howl by Allen Ginsberg and um, um, and it, it was an amazing book. It's, it's this torrent, it's this rage against the machine. He wrote it in 1955. And um, I love the poem. And at the end, there's something called the footnote to Howell. And so after this incre incredible rage against the machine, you know, against everything that was happening at that time, um, he, he starts this, the, the footnote as holy, 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 holy. And he goes on through this long prayer-like structure. And I like work that's both luminous and holds the grief of the the world I'm hoping on November 9th to be able to do something that's inspired. Really by, exciting. By that so, so we get to come and walk through all of this, or yes. is it a just sit and be be peaceful? At seven, the, the doors will open, and there'll be a sound, video, and light installation that you can wander about. And um, then at about 7:15, we'll start a live performance. And then afterwards, I'm hoping people will stay and walk around a bit and just um, uh, have some conversation. Excellent. Well, thank you for pulling all these pieces together. Oh, thank you. It Karen will be an experience. Thank you. I'm looking forward to it. And congratulations in thank advance. <laughs> Break a leg, if I can say that. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Holy Fool will be staged one night only, November 9th, at Sacred Heart Music Center. For more information, check out sacredheartmusic.org. Now, Eric Dubnica's work often pokes fun at the pretense of modern life. His visual art puts a twist on familiar situations. It's designed to kindle some thoughtful musing in the viewer. What I enjoy doing is problem solving and brainstorming. And every time I put pen to pad or make a mark, what I'm doing is creating a problem that I have to solve. In this particular study, um, it's a mildly deranged woman out in the middle of the street at night about to get run over by a car. What I'm trying to do is try to determine if I can actually expand on the um, size and scale of some of these drawings. I typically do start with a lion drawing of some, type, some kind. My name is Eric Dubnicka, and I'm an artist, and I live in Duluth, Minnesota. The evolution of this character has taken place over the last 10 years. This series is going to allow me this opportunity to play with this whole idea of I mean, what's bigger than an icon and a crucifix, and then it's actually a drunk, passed out guy on top of that. It's just kind of a fun play that um, maybe will irritate a few people or might actually uh, get people thinking a little bit. This is a drawing on a digitally manipulated night photograph. It's a series of work that involves my cartoony, sardonic drawings, kind of creating this, this energy, this uh, point of reaction um, for the characters to be working off of. My, my figures have slowly disintegrated over time. Originally, I drew realistically stuff my mother loved. In the end, you, you have these small stories, these little vignettes uh, that are, could be humorous, they could be sad. 
And if somebody says they're, they're a little put off, but they're also laughing, it's like spot on for me because that's the exact thing. That's the line that we're all walking in life as it is. And we have to laugh at ourselves and you know stop taking everything so seriously because karma's gonna come back and bite us in the butt anyway. Eric's currently got work hanging at the Duluth Art Institute. That show, In Cahoots, is a collaborative project with fellow artist Jeremy Schock. And that show will be up through the end of December. Now in the playlist gallery tonight, work by some great artists from Two Harbors. We've got several paintings by Dave Gilsvik and glasswork by Michael Tonder. All compliments of CV's gallery in Duluth Canal Park. Now to see previous playlist galleries, stories, and whole episodes, check out our website at theplaylistonline.org. You can also submit ideas and sign up to be a part of our studio audience. Now get the latest news from the playlist on Facebook and Twitter at the Playlist MN. And now please welcome back Lost Children.
Work. <laughs> nice work. Thanks for coming over. Thanks for having us. Mr. Josh Palmy, you, would you like to introduce your band? Yes, I am Josh Palmy. That is Chad Mickelson on the drums, Dave Litchke on the bass. Okay, so how long have you guys been playing together? Chad and I have been playing together for 12 years, I believe. Uh, Dave, we just hooked up with recently. Started okay. jamming some, yeah. And you do most of the, the writing of these songs, yes? I have done most of the songs. Just mostly writing, you? Yeah. Yeah, I yeah. hear a little bit of gospel, I he hear a little bit of blues. What kind of music do you like to listen to? Yeah, I'm a big soul guy, big blues guy, big uh, rock. I like, I like all kinds of stuff. Yeah. I think that's what keeps it fun and keeps it fresh, because you can borrow from lots of other um, traditions, which Definitely. is pretty cool. Definitely. So one of the things I know about you is you've been a great supporter of acoustic music at the Discovery Center. You want to tell me a little bit about that? Yeah, they do their acoustic cafe on Thursdays during the winter. Um, once a week they have a different artist there, singer-songwriter, and it's usually most, mostly original music, so that's always good. And what's it like to be, because you've been part of kind of growing that into a, a regular thing to do in the winter time. Yeah, I've done a lot of shows there over the last few years, yeah. It's usually pretty cool. Hoping to keep spreading the word over there. Yeah. Definitely. That's awesome. Now, that's at the Discovery Center in... Yeah, in Chisholm. In Chisholm. Yeah. And do you have any gigs coming up there? I don't have any there okay. right now, no. Not I yet. was, I was uh, busy up for the dates they offered to me. Yeah. Okay. So the music that we're hearing tonight, all except for this last song called Redeem, most of them are on uh, Long Way Home. And this is yep. all you guys, right? Yeah. And where can we find this? And do we have any gigs coming up? We do have gigs coming up. Um, the Twins Bar in Duluth here we play on this Saturday. We are in Cloquet at Cheers coming up. Uh, Novi's Haven in White Lakes possibly 218 in Virginia. Okay. Uh, we get around, get around a bit. So what's and the, the best? CD, you can uh, generally either see us at a show so far, you know, uh, we can get you in there or try and get us on Facebook. We have a site mm -hmm. there and that we can try and figure out a way to get you on. Yeah. Okay. Well, great. Thank you for taking the time. I know you have one more song for us. We do. While you're getting ready. Thank you for that. I'm going to say that's the it for tonight's playlist. Have a great weekend, and remember to go out and support live art and local music. Josh, it's up to you guys.